Well, Ann Coulter, of course, the best-selling author, the uh, great columnist, and uh, well, uh, best on Twitter. You can go to uh, Ann Coulter at Twitter. He also she has got a new website, uh, which has got all kinds of stuff on it. Check out the new website, AnnCoulter.com. Uh, Ann Coulter, how you doing? Uh, fine, thanks. How are you? Are you in a bunker in New York City? Yeah, you know, you'd think if you had a good left-wing progressive mayor and a governor, everything would go great. <laughs> what a surprise here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, no, uh, and Cuomo can rem remove him, you know. Yeah, but, uh, uh, you know, taking Andrew Cuomo, for instance, a couple weeks ago, this guy was a rock star. Those briefings, he was like a superstar. Do you ever see a guy crumble so fast and uh, just wipe out that quickly? No, it's almost as fast as the claim that we need to socially distance. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wow, goes. that is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Mark Simone. <laughs> I mean, I know other people have pointed out kind of kind of hard to avoid when police are out, you know, stopping a guy playing T ball in the park with his son or, or surfing. <laughs> and now I just tweeted out a picture of I think it's in New York, a bunch of, of nurses standing out <laughs> applauding a mob of protesters. <laughs> who are not, by the way, in, in case you're wondering, socially distancing. Yeah. Um, also, uh, you know... They, so is that like over now? Yeah, I guess it is over. You know, uh, he did say a few weeks ago that he was going to start curbside pickup at stores. I didn't know this is what he meant, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess Major League Baseball is back on. I mean, that's, uh, that's the good news here. They've, they've wrecked the economy, wrecked our lives, wrecked the country, now wrecking it city by city. Um, incidentally, you, you, Mark Simone, are in a particular um, position to comment. I mean, I think, uh, I, think a, no, 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 no. I think a lot of people think that like COVID, I mean, I'm usually pretty optimistic about the country. People say, oh, it'll never be the same. And then, you know, two months later, everything's the same. Even after 9-11, we did come back, um, despite what I think a lot of people thought at the time. Oh, my gosh, it'll never be the same. Um, we'll all be terrified. Everybody's leaving. Um, no, riots are different. <laughs> riots are different. And you, from Gross Point, um, Michigan, are well familiar <laughs> with how the effects linger. I mean, Detroit and and the suburb of, well, of Rose Point used to be the wait. gem of the nation. Okay, but wait, there's certain cities um, that fall apart, and it's like a one-industry town. The difference with New York, well, two differences. One, you had a million industries. You had uh, the financial industry, Broadway, entertainment. But uh, we've been through stuff like this before, but the difference was you had Pataki and Rudy Giuliani to rebuild oh, it. I you wish. Had, yeah, so, you, and you, you look at these guys, where's, you remember 9-11, Pataki and Giuliani were out on the street with their police jackets on, running around, where's right. Blasio and Cuomo, why aren't they there on the scene, what, you know, this is the one time you don't hear from Chuck Schumer, he's not interested in being right, on TV right. now. So, well, not uh, only that, I mean, Giuliani did save New York City, um, in, in many ways, starting with ending the crime, something we're all being well familiarized with again. Um, I mean, this is the problem with being um, with Republican success stories. Um, one of the main you know, pillars of the Republican Party is is to to make the world safe, to, to, to law and order, to be tough on criminals so that the rest of us can go about our lives. The, pro the problem, and I've never seen a politician change the world as much as Rudy Giuliani did as mayor of yeah. New York. I mean, other than, I guess, Ronald Reagan ending the Cold War. Um, certainly in my lifetime, those were the two greatest achievements. And I've been looking at these, you know, moron hipsters in, in Brooklyn all these years thinking, you have no idea. <laughs> you don't know what New York City of death wish was like. Um, so you win these successes, and the problem is you can't run on that issue anymore, and people forget what it was like. Well, they're getting well familiarized with it right now. You, you can't have life. You can't have parks. You can't have you can't have women and children going for walks on a on a warm spring evening. Um, these stores, as for what's going to happen to New York, I think it is very, very, very bad unless another 
unless there is some some Giuliani out there who can come along and save it. But look at these stores and restaurants. They were already going under because of the shutdown. They were going under because of because of competition from Amazon. They've just gone through three months of making no money, laying people off, desperate to come back. No, no, okay, I'm socially distanced. Um, and suddenly uh, their, their storefronts are smashed and all their, their stuff is stolen. <laughs> But again, uh, Cuomo, if there was a little flood, he'd have the hip boots on and he'd have the jacket on. He'd be on the scene. The two prisoners escape. Remember, he's wearing his camouflage jacket. He's on the scene hunting. Uh, riots all over the He wasn't here. He wasn't on the street. I know it's uh, the mayor's job, but he should have been here uh, and he should have been uh, walking around doing something. That's what Giuliani, remember Giuliani and Pataki, all through 9 11. They never left the scene, they were always there. <laughs> True, but I think you're not even giving them enough credit, um, which is to say it isn't it isn't a photo op I'm looking for. It's results and policies and what policies have Cuomo, de Blasio, and I might mention your president, um, pushed. And, well, that's being soft on criminals um, in New York City, the no bail. It's stunning right now that, that, you, that there is no bail. You, you do not go to jail for arson. You do not go to jail for arson, and that is what is happening all over. And you have lots of criminals who have been released, either through, um, you know, the First Step Act, or um, that was Jared Kushner's brilliant idea, because releasing criminals, always popular with people, um, and, and through, the, the, through the COVID nonsense, putting criminals on the street. Um, it's the policy. It's how about ignoring Antifa all these years? How about Gavin McGinnis giving a speech at the Metropolitan Republican Club? This was a couple of years ago. Antifa shows up, vandalizes this beautiful historic club. It's been around for years. Windows smashed, the anarchy, A, um, spray painted on it. And they're beating up people who are coming to hear Gavin McGinnis' speech. Gavin McGinnis was the founder of Vice, very funny, very smart. Um, and at this point, very deplatformed with no help from the administration, I might add. Um, and uh, they, the Proud Boys, Gavin McGinnis' Proud Boys, all they do is fight back. They don't go yeah. to an Antifa gathering and attack you. They fight back. Two of them are now in prison for two years. That is how Cuomo and de Blasio and Trump have laid the groundwork. No pun. And Mitt Romney, who praised Antifa, praised yeah. Antifa. They have and laid the groundwork for this for years, and now it's exploded, and they ought to be held responsible. We just need someone to come along and give us an alternative. Well, Ann Coulter, I had to say we're out of time, but everybody, hey, check out her new website, AnnCoulter.com. A lot of good stuff up there, AnnCoulter.com. New column comes out tonight? Yes, it's a good one. Uh-oh. Uh, and follow her on Twitter. <laughs> and if uh, you've run out of books to read, you've read all the, you think you've read all the Ann Coulter books, check out uh, uh, the website, that might be some you didn't get to, annculter.com. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. All right. Take care.